Hello, Blackman High School students, parents, and families. I'm Dr. Lisa Justice, principal of Blackman High School. And before I say anything else, I just wanna say that we miss our students. We miss their interaction with our fabulous faculty. We miss their clubs, their sports, their activities. I miss being at something every single night and watching the kids do what they do. Um, we can't wait to get them back in the building. Under the current health circumstances, school is going to be very different this year. Please know that this is for the safety of students, teachers, and staff. We have high expectations for everyone in the building that we will follow these guidelines that we're getting ready to put forth in this video consistently. These are non-negotiable. And again, it is for the health and safety of everyone. We wanna focus on education, but we wanna have some fun along the way, like we always have kind of the Blackman way of doing things. As part of a district level plan, we've all been asked to submit a safety plan for the operations of our schools. We have written that plan. It's posted on our web page. Please go read that carefully. Um, it, a lot of what's in this video, you'll also see in the plan, but we wanted to show our students in action teaching our students and families what it's gonna be like at Blackman for now. Maybe not for always, but for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll circle back at the end with some parting comments. Students will be required to wear a mask when they enter the building. We request that car riders and student drivers not enter the building until 8.15 unless they come in to buy breakfast. Lines for purchasing breakfast will be socially distanced. Other students not eating breakfast will be socially distanced in the aux gym, cafeteria, courtyard, and library until they are released to class at 8.15. We will designate distance seating in these areas and students will not be moving around once they are seated by an adult. Students will move to first period in small groups from each holding location. Teachers will direct dismissal in small groups. Students will be expected to maintain social distance even when walking in the hallways. Teachers and staff will remind students to consider the COVID-19 screening questions. If there is an indication there may be a fever, teachers with a no-touch thermometer will take the student's temperature. If a student demonstrates any symptoms of concern, they will not enter the classroom, but will be sent to the school nurse for further evaluation. Based on the nurse evaluation, district protocols will be followed. Parents may be contacted to pick up the student. Teachers will arrange desks to allow for distancing. Students are to remain in their assigned seat during class and to respect the space around the teacher and others. Blackman is moving to a block schedule this year to minimize class changes during the day. Students will attend half of their classes one day and the other half the next day. First period will meet every day with extra time added for health screenings. The time between classes will increase from five to seven minutes and classes will release in intervals in order to reduce congestion in hallways and restrooms. Students will be expected to move to classes in a single file fashion and on the appropriate side of the hallway. Social distancing signage will be placed throughout the hallways. Teachers and administrators will be in the halls helping to manage appropriate movement during class changes. The new rules are extremely important and will be enforced. This is a must for safety of all. Teachers may choose to allow individual bathroom breaks during block periods to mitigate crowds during transition times. Between classes, an adult will be in front of each bathroom to count so that the restroom is not overcrowded. Bathrooms will be sanitized before school, between class changes, before and after lunch, and after school. We will be adding a fourth lunch period this year to allow for more spacing. There will be extended time between lunches for cleaning and disinfecting. Social distancing will be enforced in cafeteria lines and seating areas. Students will have a barcode to scan to purchase lunch. Students are also strongly encouraged to use the online payment option. All meals will be prepackaged in a grab-and-go style. Students who bring lunch are strongly encouraged to bring the lunch in paper bags that can be thrown away at the end of the lunch period. Students will be released back to class in small numbers by table area. All trash must be thrown away by students for proper disinfecting to take place in timely fashion. For more details regarding what lunch will look like, please visit the reopening plan on our website. Dismissal from school at 3.30 will be staggered and in small groups. 
Students may not linger but must exit the building and premises immediately. Thank you for watching and thank you to our students for helping with this video and also to Coach Mack for helping produce it. And as you can see, school isn't going to be quite the same this year, for now. But it doesn't mean it can't be good. We're going to work on that. At Blackman, we're a family. We go through the good times together. We go through tough times together. And this is a tough time. But together, we can all continue to emphasize our culture. And we can continue to focus on belonging and learning and caring for others and becoming more than we ever thought we could become because we're all in this together. Thanks again for watching. Go Blaze.